This is day 23 of our Advent exploration of Handel's Messiah, and today three more items with words from the soaring mountaintops of 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, O death, where is thy sting? And, but thanks be to God. And the theme is victory. Messiah's victory over death, a triumph so total that the prophet Isaiah could say, speaking prophetically, he will swallow up death forever. To swallow something surely suggests not only that it has been entirely overcome, but also completely removed from sight. Death swallowed up? Well, the Bible teaches that the Messiah's people live with him in a disembodied spiritual form in heaven from the moment they die. But death cannot be said to have been swallowed as long as their bodies are under the dominion of death and decay, in the grave in other words. Death can only be said to have been swallowed when the trumpet sounds and Messiah raises the bodies of the dead, the mortal putting on immortality. Once that has happened, then every last trace of death will have been removed from the creation. And at that moment, the cry of victory will turn into taunting. Where, O death, is thy sting? Where, O grave, is thy victory? Handel sets these words with the only genuine duet in the whole of Messiah. The text actually lends itself brilliantly to the two solo voices, each singer taking one of those two questions. O oh death, O oh death, where, where is thy sting? O oh grave, O oh grave. They imitate one another, intertwining with each other. The duetting pair then go on to present St Paul's identification of death's sting. What is death's sting? The sting of death is sin, which is the breaking of God's law. Because death only exists as a judgment against sin. But thanks be to God who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So sings the chorus as they take over from the duet soloists. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, was crucified for our sin. He endured the sting of death in our place. So death can no longer hold any of his people. He gives us the victory he has won. I just want us to notice two things about this chorus. First, the tune is actually the same as in the duet. O oh death, O oh death, where, where is thy sting? But thanks, but thanks, thanks, thanks be to God. That knits the duet and the chorus together seamlessly. And then second, this is the only place in the whole of Messiah that identifies him, not by one of his titles, but by his own name. God giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Handel sensed the drama here. He saves those, those words, Jesus Christ, for the end of the chorus and slows the tempo right down. You know, when I take part in a performance of Messiah or listen to it, this moment thrills me. The whole piece has been about him. But to hear his name for the first time in over two hours of music can be overwhelming. And hearing it at last gives us a sense that the work is nearing its climactic end. A prayer. We thank you, almighty Father, for giving us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Fill our hearts and minds with faith as we look forward to the time when death will be swallowed up forever. For now, sustain us by the power of the Holy Spirit as we hope in the world to come. For Jesus' glory. Amen.